Good evening, Ryder. I'm Giancarlo Aversa. And I'm Diana Jebbia, and welcome to the News at Ryder. Holiday Spirit is invading campus with the Student Government Association's Holiday Lighting Ceremony. Students and faculty members watched as the Moore Library became a small-scale version of Rockefeller Center, complete with a skating rink, food, and live music. Santa Claus even stopped by to spread some holiday cheer. Donations were accepted to benefit the victims of Hurricane Sandy. The lights can be seen each night until the start of the spring semester. The NHL lockout continues as meetings begin to discuss new player contracts this week. After over two months of labor disputes over contract lengths, salaries, and free agency qualifications, players and owners began negotiating with federal mediators. With no end in sight, NHL games have been canceled all the way into January of 2013. Meanwhile, you can still support the Ryder intramural ice hockey team with home games at Laux Ice Arena or watch the Trenton Titans play at the Sun National Bank Center. Now reporter Dennis Kovac is on the field telling how students and faculty members are dealing with the effects of Superstorm Sandy. Thanks, Diana. I'm outside the Moore Library at Ryder University where it's been more than a month since Hurricane Sandy, but students and teachers alike are still feeling the effects from the storm. After the hurricane, Ryder University was forced to cancel classes because of power outages and a fear for the safety of its students and faculty members. After the week-long break from classes, any momentum gained throughout the semester was lost, leaving many of the students in the community struggling to end the semester on a positive note. It kind of threw off the syllabus for all my classes and pushed back everything, all the course material, about like a week or two at least. It made us not even have time to go over certain things in the course. Uh, not being in school for a whole week kind of threw me off, kind of made me forget what was going on in class. Well, with the loss of the week at the end of the semester, I cut down the requirements on the fourth and fifth papers. Um, there are five essays required for most composition classes here, which is a large requirement for a short semester. But I think it would have complicated things to extend the semester since there is an intercession class in December, um, as well as I'm sure people have made plans, both faculty and students, for the holidays. When asked how Ryder University dealt with the devastation from Hurricane Sandy, Professors and students agree that Ryder handled the situation fairly well. I think they did, all my teachers did a pretty good job of making up for lost time. Yeah. In terms of being a faculty member, they got all the information quickly, I knew what I needed to do when I was coming back, when I had time off. So that was perfect for me. I'm Dennis Kovac for Ryder News, now back to you guys in the studio. The Ryder University Chorale has made the most of the change schedules. The chorale originally had a concert scheduled for Family Weekend that was canceled because of the storm. Conductor John McDonnell took the time to focus on last week's winter concert. Uh, you know, we were disappointed to miss that performance, but the extra time that it afforded us allowed us to do a, a lot more polishing for this concert than we would have otherwise had uh, time to do. Um, it allowed us to focus on, uh, in rehearsal on some of the pieces that uh, were new to the chorale. Students can look forward to the spring concert on May 3rd to hear their classmates sing once more. Finals week is vastly approaching and students are preparing for the end of the semester. More people around campus are taking advantage of the library's late hours and Starbucks caffeinated drinks as the semester winds down. As stressful as finals week is, always remember to be safe while studying. Maintain a healthy diet, get plenty of rest, and don't use energy enhancing drugs. The News at Ryder wishes all students around campus a happy holiday and a safe new year. For the News at Ryder, I'm Giancarlo Aversa. And I'm Diana Jebbia. Thanks for watching.